So let's get into her attacks. Her attacks may be the best out of all the double blade girls because she has her third skill which attacks all enemies at one time. But we'll start off right with the first skill first. Triple slash. Attack an enemy three times in a row with the bone blade. Green restrains blue, so she's not she's gonna have a little difficulty with the with the green partners. Okay, her second skill is body strike. Strike an enemy. What she'll do is she will attack and she will recover health based on her attack. And if she gets more health than she has a need for, whatever's left over turns into a shield for two rounds. So we'll we'll go here and we'll attack her. So she did like 3,000 damage and she had no health that she needed. So she should have a shield for about 3,000. I'm assuming that's what it is. And then she got to attack the second time right again. So her speed must be much better than these other girls. Now her third is called the, the Sword Wind. Attack all enemies and dispel all positive effects that they have. They, they don't have any positive effects. So we don't get to see that. But she, we do get to see her attack all of them at once. She almost wiped them all out. Right, that shield's pretty stout, so so far she's withstanding two attacks. Here's a third. Now we use the bone blade, the, the triple attack again. That takes her down. Her leader skill is is 40% attack for all blue partners. So if she has a blue team, we'll do another of the first skill. Three three bone blade attacks. Uh, so all the wise partners they get a 40% increase in attack which is another really valuable thing especially in like the the clan attack the clan monster or in the partner uh, the lonely warrior so she's a good partner to have as a, as a team leader in lonely warrior with a big blue team we'll do another one of these uh, wind attacks I'll show you again pretty strong attack she's not maxed out she's level 35 with two stars I'm going to let these guys play on now as we go through some other stuff. So her Legion skill, uh, if the partner survives the battle, then the Shaman, your Shaman, will get an increase of 40. So if you don't already know, when you do a player versus player attack, uh, the partners, don't forget to bring your partners. Your partners will attack their partners first. Whoever survives the, the partner battle will then either boost their own team or debuff the other team. For the Double Blade Girl, if she survives, it's a 40% increase to your Shaman's. Uh, blue and blue increases shamans uh, green increases the warriors red increases the beast masters i believe her first skill her first skill is attack an enemy three times with a bone blade if you see when she gets third awakened it changes her first skill once she starts awakened she attacks an enemy three times with the bone blade each attack has a 10 percent chance to stun the enemy for one round so that's different from the other partners. The red does the poison. The green does something else. Let's see. I'll... War patterns. We'll see what everyone else uses first. Most everyone uses Saya. Some use uh, Thera with them. Some use some use Wolf. Thera is good for the first round if they have a bunch of stun partners or if they have a lot of speed and they're gonna their whole team's gonna go first. Then that's a really good idea to have Thera on your partner because that will eliminate all the debuffs that they do for you in the first round only. And of course, Wolf does the critical rate increase. So I've used pretty much the same thing, which is amazing. Uh, and you'll see here I have attack on the right hand. I have attack on the head. I have attack on the left hand. She just attacks all around. She's an attack partner, so I suggest going with their strengths and don't try to don't try to boost up their weaknesses. Use other partners to to cover up their weaknesses. Her weakness is that she doesn't have a lot of health, so use something like the catfish fighter with the shield, or use like the red uh, uh, guitarist for uh, the healing, or the uh, the blue uh, or blue berserker is another good one when you're starting out. These are all basically the start all partners. I would suggest trying to get the Brutal Horn up to the second star and at least level 15. And what that will do is that will give her a really big boost as far as the health that she'll get back. And, and, and it's it's a lot. It's a big commitment. You'll have to give f five four stars to get that second star on the on the artifact. But uh, don't think you can go without artifacts. You give an instant advantage to the other side, the other team, if you don't use artifacts on all of your partners that are in ranked matches. So overall, we'll give some easy tips. Blue, blue double blade girl, great leader, 40% attack boost for blue partners only. 
I would use Sire War Pattern whether Sire is the stun war pattern. All of our attacks are, are, are multiple attacks, multi hits. Uh, I would use left hand speed, left arm speed, head and right arm attack percentage. Or if you can get gold or purple war patterns and you get speed in the second through fifth sub skills. And if you can get about eight on each of the war patterns, that will get you over 40 for speed. And then I would use uh, the, the attack percentage on her left hand as well. You have it all three up top as attack percentage. But just remember the biggest benefit you're going to get from these double blade girls is in the third awakening. I would suggest not maxing out double blade girl because it will take 12 of her to max her out. And that would actually get you six. Yes, true. Six third awakened four star partners. I just think that's more value than, than, a, than a maxed out skill double blade girl. That's it might just be me though. So that's the end of the video. Appreciate everyone for watching. Sub to the channel if you haven't already, please. I appreciate everyone out there. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.